In this video, what I want to do is give you an overview of how we're going to use the RCVS Bullet Feeder Kit on the Hornady Lock and Load AP Progressive Press uh, loading 45 ACP. And in this particular case, we're going to be using the RCVS Lockout Die. We'll be using all of the stations. And uh, in this video, we'll see how uh, the RCBS bullet feeder works with the PTS expansion system and it uh, should be lots of fun. So let's get going. Today we're going to start with our Hornady Lock and Load AP Progressive Press set up to load 45 ACP without the bullet feeder but with the case feeder. So let's take a look at the die setup uh, that we're going to use today for this 45 ACP loading session. We're going to start with the sizing and depriming die in station number one. In station number two, uh, we've got the powder measure, uh, but we're also using a PTX expander to expand the case mouth. In station number three, we've got the RCBS lockout die adjusted for the charge that we're going to be using today. Station number four has been left open for the RCBS uh, bullet feeding system. Uh, the bullet feeder die is going to be installed in this particular station. And in station number five, we're using the Hornady uh, seating and crimping die uh, for 45 caliber. So let's do some loading with the case feeder, uh, but without the bullet feeder. Each time, I'm going to take a bullet, uh, place it uh, on the case mouth, lower the handle, lower the handle, and repeat. And really, this is this is going to be a, uh, a pretty quick way to, re way to reload because uh, the case feeder makes it such that our right arm can focus on the lever and our left arm can uh, focus on bullets. So we've seen how loading 45 ACP with the Hornady lock and load equipped with a case feeder is actually a pretty quick process. But let's take a look next at what uh, an RCBS bullet feeder can do for this situation. So I'm going to start by taking my completed cartridge bin off. I'm also going to take off uh, my bullet tray. And then I'm going to take the, the RCBS uh, bullet feeder unit which uh, has the, the bowl on the top, um, an adjustable height uh, vertical member here and the mounting base. Now here I've got a 3 8 inch uh, steel plate uh, bracket that I've mounted firmly to my to my working surface. Take a moment to uh, secure these screws here. Doesn't take much. And of course I need to also plug the unit in. Alright so let's take a look at the different components that we're going to need to assemble in order to install this RCBS uh, bullet feed die on our Hornady lock and load AP progressive press. First we've got the lock and load bushing which we need to install any die on the lock and load AP press. Uh, we've got the bullet finger uh, retention circlip which retains the, retains the, uh, the bullet feed finger assembly in the bullet feed die. We've got the, the bullet feed uh, die body and then uh, the bullet guide. So what we're going to do is uh, pick up the uh, the bullet feed die and we'll first install uh, the finger assembly. So this is going to go in with the tension band facing inward. We're just going to, to pop that in and we'll then take the the circlip, start one end in, and then we'll just kind of push it the rest of the way in and we'll hear that pop into place. Now uh, the bullet um, finger assembly will not uh, come out. Now if you notice here there's a slight angle on the cut on this particular side of the circlip that allows you to get a precision screwdriver on there under there to to remove the bullet uh, finger assembly. So next we're going to take the the bullet guide. We're going to take the larger diameter opening. You can see the smaller diameter there. The larger diameter goes up, kind of like a funnel for the for the bullet to drop through. We're then going to take our lock and load bushing and we'll just kind of screw this in 
a little bit high. That will allow us to lower the die body assembly in and adjust it properly. Okay, here we are back uh, looking at the press. And what we're going to do is just uh, drop the lock and load bushing in, give it an eighth of a turn, and now we can adjust that die up and down. Next, we'll take the, the clear plastic drop tube. This gives you a visual indication of the number of bullets in, in uh, progress. We're going to take the turns down end of that, have that facing up, and then put the, the guide um, from the upper drop tube, which is a spring, and drop that in place. Next, we're going to take the power jack and plug that in so that the motor starts turning. Now, uh, we'll be able to dump in our bullets and start filling the drop tube. In this particular case, we're using Spear Gold Dot 230 grain hollow points. So we can just get that in and watch the bullets start to feed. You can hear those dropping down the upper drop tube. And now that uh, our tube has filled up, the unit will shut off automatically. So now that we've loaded our bullets and filled the drop tube, we can go on to adjusting the die assembly so that we'll be ready to load. The adjustment of the bullet feed die is simple and straightforward. What I'm going to do is continue the loading process by raising the ram, and when I raise the ram all the way to the highest uh, position, I'm going to screw the die down until I see the bullets drop down on. You see that there? And now we're going to add uh, one more half turn to that of additional uh, seating of this bullet feed die, and then we'll just uh, tighten the lock ring uh, finger cut. And now that we've made our initial die adjustment, we should be able to use the press now without stopping. In this video, we've observed the loading process on the Hornady Lock and Load AP Progressive Reloading Press, both with and without the RCBS bullet feeder. And we've seen that while it's fast and convenient to load with a case feeder, adding the RCBS bullet feeder increases your throughput considerably and makes reloading a pleasure. I hope that you've enjoyed this, the first installment in reloading with the Hornady Lock and Load AP Progressive Press using the RCBS bullet feeder. We're going to explore other calibers and aspects of reloading with the RCBS bullet feeder attachment, both with the Hornady Lock and Load AP Progressive Press and with other progressive reloaders as well. So take a seat, uh, join us on UltimateReloader.com and stick around to see what happens. Thanks a lot.